You're still listening to Kumbang Channel and this is KT News. Since China President Wilfred Wong Ying Wai pledged on Thursday that his company will continue to invest in Macau, having been part of the city's rapid economic growth in the past 15 years. Wong made the remarks when delivering his speech at the 15th anniversary celebration of Sands Macau in Napa, the US gaming operator's first property in the city, the Macau Post Daily reported on Friday. The celebration was marked with fireworks and musical performances and was attended by acting chief executive Lionel Leung Wai Tat, as well as other senior government officials. Meanwhile, Macau's chief executive Fernando Chui Sai On could not make it to Sans China's 15th anniversary event as the chief executive has been leading a Macau government delegation on a nine day official visit to Portugal that ends today. During this visit, the sixth Macau Portugal Joint Commission meeting was held in Lisbon on Wednesday, concluding with consensus on the further fostering of bilateral cooperation, including in economic and trade matters and Portuguese language education according to a statement released on Thursday by the Macau Government Information Bureau. Another domestic violence case in town. A 29-year-old unemployed local man beat his wife early this week as he was unhappy that the victim seemed to ignore his order to buy cigarettes for him, Judiciary Police spokesman Chan Woon Man said in a Thursday press conference. According to Chen, the suspect surname Lau and his 27-year-old wife, who were married in January 2017, have a son and a daughter. The family of four live with a domestic helper in a flat in Avenida Marginal Dola Mao. Chen pointed out that at around 10 p.m. last Sunday, when the victim, who works as a part-time saleswoman, got home from work, Lau told her to go and buy cigarettes for him, which resulted in an argument. Afterwards, the suspect beat and slapped his wife and forced her to leave their flat, after which he locked her out, according to Chen. As the victim was unable to get back in the flat, she then reported the case to the police. And for our flash news tonight, Irene Vakwan Lau will become president of the Macau Trade and Investment Promotion Institute, IPIM, on May the 27th, according to an executive order signed by Chief Executive Fernando Chui Sai On on the 7th of May and published in the Official Gazette on Wednesday. Lau holds a master's degree in business management from the Macau University of Science and Technology, as well as a bachelor's degree from a foreign university in Halifax, Nova Scotia, Canada. On Thursday, two TCM buses crashed into each other at the junction of Avenida do Conselheiro Ferreira de Almeida and Avenida do Ovidor Ariaga, injuring six passengers on the two buses, according to local authorities who suspected that the accident was due to one of the buses jumping a red light. An exhibition about the life of Grace Kelly from when she was an American actress until she became Princess of Monaco, comprising exhibits on loan from the collections of the Princess Palace of Monaco, is currently held at Galaxy Macau's Crystal Lobby. The local government has proposed to transfer 3% surplus of the government's annual central budget to Social Security Fund with the aim of ensuring the sustainability of the social security system over the next five decades. Wynn will be hosting a four-month art exhibition that takes inspiration from famous Dutch painter Hieronymus Bosch's stunning masterpiece, The Garden of Earthly Delights, which he painted during the time of the Renaissance, the Macau Post Daily reported recently. The Wind Garden of Earthly Delights exhibition will take place in both Wind Macau and Wind Palace from June the 6th and is part of a series of activities in the government-initiated Art Macau program, according to the Macau Post Daily report. And for the weather in Macau, it's going to be mainly cloudy with occasional showers and a few thunderstorms tomorrow with temperature predicted to be between 25 and 29 degrees Celsius. The weather throughout the week will be mostly cloudy with some rain, except for Wednesday and Thursday, where the local weather is expected to be rather sunny and a bit cloudy, with temperature during the week ranging from 24 to 29 degrees Celsius, while humidity will range between 70 and 98 percent. For more information about the local weather, visit www.smg.gov.mo. And that's all for tonight's KT News. Getting back to our music, this is Rudy Mantle featuring Ed Sheeran with Light All On Me. Continue to listen to Kumbang Channel. Kumbang, kumpul bareng yuk.